As you guys will no doubt already be aware, there has been some very strange stuff going on in the Royal High and Rider Roblox communities recently. Roblox has had some really serious issues, causing the game servers to go down, the entire website to shut down and more, and it seems as though it is going to be an ongoing issue that we should all be aware of. So today I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about what you need to do to make sure you keep yourself safe during this time and don't get too frustrated by the upcoming changes and things that are going to be happening in Roblox. Hey guys, I am going to be using Instagram so much more over the next few months, so make sure you go and follow me at Bplays. I'm going to be following a bunch of you guys back to celebrate this month, so make sure you go follow me soon so I can follow you back as well. Get ready, you guys. Hello, wonderful little beans. My name is Bia. Welcome back to my channel. Before we get started with today's video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and click that bell. And of course, you stack could be when buying Robux or Premium. I said to get ready because I knew I was going to wave at the wall because whenever you sat inside the apartment chairs, for some reason, it always makes you wave at the wall. It is so weird and so broken. You don't even actually face the right way when you wave, which is very, very strange. But anyways, nonetheless, let's get on with today's video. You guys may remember that yesterday I posted a video to talking a little bit about how Roblox has had some really serious issues going on recently, including the game servers going down, and of course people worrying about things like data loss. Well, obviously there's still been some leftover issues, but it seems as though there's going to be a wider issue, whereby Roblox is going to continue to have this problem, at least until the foreseeable future, specifically on a certain day of the week. As you guys can see from yesterday, the RTC tweeted and said Roblox is experiencing issues with joining games due to high traffic. We will update you in this thread. As of now, partial service disruption. Shortly after, they said the site has gone completely offline. Roblox is down down. And obviously, the entire thing went completely down and it was practically impossible to do anything. Shortly after, they said it was back online again and it's likely to still be experiencing some issues joining games, especially, of course, obviously with teleporting and experiences and things like that, there are various issues that came up as a result of it. They did tweet a little bit later saying that it was semi-functional. However, it's still experiencing many technical issues. And if you are able to join, you'll be able to join certain games, but may experience some issues with teleporting or joining VIP realms. It did say that teleportation and VIP servers seem to be working again and Roblox seems to be functional, but for some people, it certainly was still having issues. But the interesting thing that I wanted to share with you guys is this. As you can see, Creekcraft tweeted and said Roblox once again has broken its all-time concurrent users. That means the amount of people on the game at the same time. With over 9.3 million people active at the same time. 9 million people were playing Roblox at the same time. Haven and Pet Simulator had over a million players each at the exact same time. And as you can see, it caused the servers to completely die. Now, people have been talking about and documenting this issue quite extensively, particularly because there seems to be a specific problem. Many people have noticed that last week when Roblox went down, it was on Saturday. The week before, it was on Saturday. It seems to be at the moment that every time Pet Simulator X and Brookhaven or other large experiences similar release an update, the entire website and game goes down because it cannot cope with the demand of people all trying to play the updates at the same time. In other words, you guys, since these games are updating so regularly, usually on Saturdays, it's becoming impossible for the servers to keep up and they keep going down. Now, obviously, Saturdays are an important day too because it's a weekend. People are not at school. So, of course, a lot of people are playing the game and more of you guys are trying to get in to do your daily grinds, your weekly events, whatever it is that you might be trying to do. So, of course, with this issue in place, it's causing a lot of people to not be able to play play the game through those Saturdays when, of course, you normally would. And it seems to be becoming an extensive issue whereby every single Saturday, Roblox is going down for multiple hours, sometimes experiencing issues for the entire day, which naturally is not good and is very complicated and is causing a lot of problems for a lot of people, including YouTubers who need to record or game developers who are trying to work on their games and various other things, as well as players just not being able to play. Now, in the past, we have known before that when things go down, sometimes it does mean that your data isn't saved. If you're... Oh my gosh. 
a perfect example of the situation. I just got disconnected, even though my internet is fine. Are you kidding me, Roblox? Oh, it's put me in a public server and it's all glitched out and all my outfits ruined. Oh, no, it's fine. We're just recording here with these people in the public server and hopefully people don't notice it's me and start crowding me. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. So anyways, as I was saying, you guys will already know by now that there is a specific issue that can happen. If you're playing on a server like I just was and you lose connection and the servers go down, sometimes the data from what you've done during that session will not be saved. So let's say you've done a bunch of grinding and you've done a lot of stuff all in that session there's a chance that when you rejoin after it glitches you out that the data from whatever you've just done won't be saved in other words causing you what people refer to as data loss this naturally can be a big problem if you've done a lot during that session so you've done a lot of grinding a lot of farming or you made a lot of progress completed some quests if you lose that data and have to start over naturally it's not gonna be very helpful for you and you're gonna feel a little bit disheartened I have played a game before where I've actually been playing and then the data or the servers didn't save because of the servers going down and then you rejoin and you have to do it all again you guys know you don't want to do it when you have to do it again it just makes you feel sad you don't want to have to go through it again and so ultimately you end up basically giving up and deciding it's not worth it and then obviously you feel sad and then eventually when you do get the courage to do it over again you're nervous the entire time that something bad might happen it's obviously not ideal in fact it's far from ideal it's very frustrating and I'm sure that many of you will probably rather avoid situations like that. I certainly would myself. Especially because there are some people that say that they have issues regarding their inventories, or more specifically, issues regarding items they have obtained disappearing. Such as a new halo, if you won one from the fountain, or something like that. Now obviously, if it's just that you went and bought an item, you're probably not going to be that bothered. You can go ahead and just buy that item again. But if you won a halo or something like that, or in a video game, a different, maybe a different game, different experience, you won something really rare or important that's really hard to get it might not be likely that you get it again and so if you lose it as a result of Roblox going down and all these server and data loss issues it can be really frustrating so that all means that you should try your best to be really vigilant on Saturdays going forward or anytime that Pet Simulator or Brookhaven or any other large experience announce that they are releasing updates at least until Roblox fixes these server issues and manages to get under control whatever is going on on. Someone's putting their teleportation scepter in my face, but it's fine. Just make sure you guys are really vigilant and really careful during these periods of time while we're waiting for things to get fixed and while we're waiting for Roblox to work on hopefully repairing some of these issues that have clearly been going on now for a while. For a multi-billion dollar game, they sure are lacking on the server front, you guys, so let's hope they manage to get this under control very, very soon. In the meantime, though, you guys, let me know in the comments down below, have you experienced any of these issues are you doing okay let me know and thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next video little beans have a great day goodbye